Welcome to the Got Math class. Let's make math so easy. Hello everyone, I'm your teacher for this question. The question says let px equal 2x squared minus 4ix minus 13. Use synthetic division to find p1 plus 2i in parentheses. So first of all, we need to know what this means or this question actually means is uh, we need to so 1 plus 2i this has the meaning so it has the meaning has the meaning that px so px is divided so it's divided by x minus 1 plus 2i. Okay, this is divided by this. Based on the vector uh, uh, sorry, uh, re remainder theorem. Okay, remainder theorem. Okay, so we're asked to, so we use the synthetic division to find the quotient. In the end, we use this to find quotient. Quotient and remainder. Okay. This is very similar to the long division, which we also ask to find the quotient which is on the top if we still remember we draw that sign and we put the function right here we divide and we get the quotient quotient right here and we end up something that's either zero or something else which stands for the remainder okay so that's the graphical representation of the long division but synthetic division is different and okay let's dive into the question uh, we first draw something, sorry. Uh, all right, just mess this up. <laughs> okay, so first we draw something like that. And next we put the coefficients of the function, which means I put 1, negative 4i, and negative 13 right here. So these are the coefficients of px. And next I put 1 plus 2i on the left side. Okay, so now I have set up the uh, synthetic division. Now we divide. The first step is to bring the first number, no matter what it is, is it's either 1, 0, I mean, not 0, and 5, or, you know, 100, which is bring it down. We do nothing with this number. And next, we do multiplication. We multiply 1 plus 2i by 1, and we write the result right here, which should be equal to 1 plus 2i. And then we do addition for the numbers. And we, sh we should get 1 minus 2i, right? And then we do multiplication again. We multiply 1 plus 2i by 1 minus 2i, which we should get. Okay, if you still remember the steps were solved, uh, there is a quick step to solve questions like this which is if we have 1 minus b times, one, I mean, sorry, a minus b times a plus b, what we should have is a square minus b square. This theorem also applies here. So if we have 1 plus 2i, sorry, times 1 minus 2i, this ends up with a is equal to 1. 1 squared, so 1 minus 2i squared, which is equal to 1 minus 4i squared. i squared is equal to negative 1, because i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So i squared, the symbol canceled out, so what's left is negative 1. So we should have 5 right here, because 1 and the negative sign canceled out, so we put 5 here. Uh, negative 13 plus 5 is equal to negative 8. Okay, so we know that, always remember, the last number right here is the remainder. If it's 0, it means we have no remainder. If it's anything else, that means 
that's the remainder okay so this is the coefficients of the quotient and this is the remainder now we can put everything up okay let me write below here underneath everything and what we should have is x minus 1 plus 2i times x plus 1 minus 2i and this minus 8 is equal to px okay so you can try to calculate and try to confirm the answer okay so from the question we know that negative 8 is remainder and this right here is the quotient that we found based on the synthetic division what we can take away from this question is how to use synthetic division to find the quotient and the remainder okay so even if we have complex numbers that involves i calculations if we care for the uh, negative and uh, positive signs we're able to find the correct quotient and remainder okay so that's something to care about or to care for and that's all for this question see you in the next video